Number 10. Doctor Strange made his first appearance in Strange Tales No. 110 in July 1963. He was created by writer Stan Lee and artist Steve Ditko. This issue featured the origin story of Doctor Strange, then known as Doctor Stephen Strange, a brilliant but arrogant neurosurgeon who loses the use of his hands in a car accident. Desperate to regain his abilities, he seeks out a mystical cure and ultimately becomes the Sorcerer Supreme, the primary protector of Earth against magical and mystical threats. Number 9. Doctor Strange possesses a wide range of mystical abilities granted to him through his mastery of the mystic arts. Some of his powers include Sorcery Doctor Strange is one of the most powerful sorcerers in the Marvel Universe, capable of performing a vast array of magical spells and enchantments. Telepathy He can read minds and communicate telepathically with others. Astral Projection He can separate his astral form from his physical body, allowing him to travel in a ghost-like state. Energy Projection Doctor Strange can manipulate magical energy to create powerful energy blasts and constructs. Time Manipulation He has the ability to manipulate time, allowing him to travel through time or affect the flow of time in localized areas. Dimensional Travel Doctor Strange can travel between dimensions and access other realms of existence. Mystic Shields and Barriers He can create mystical shields and barriers to protect himself and others from harm. Summoning Doctor Strange can summon powerful beings and entities from other dimensions to aid him in battle. Mystic Knowledge He possesses extensive knowledge of magical lore and ancient mystical texts, allowing him to learn and cast a wide variety of spells. These are just a few examples of Doctor Strange's abilities, and he continues to explore and develop his powers throughout his adventures. Number 8 Doctor Strange has faced numerous villains and adversaries in the comics, many of whom possess mystical powers or come from other dimensions. Some of the prominent villains Doctor Strange has encountered include Dormammu, a powerful interdimensional entity and ruler of the Dark Dimension. Dormammu is one of Doctor Strange's most formidable foes. He seeks to conquer other realms and opposes Doctor Strange's efforts to protect the Earth. Baron Mordo, a former student of the Ancient One, Baron Mordo is a skilled sorcerer and one of Doctor Strange's primary rivals. He often seeks to usurp power for himself and has clashed with Doctor Strange on numerous occasions. Mephisto, often portrayed as the Marvel Comics version of the Devil, Mephisto is a malevolent demon lord who delights in tormenting souls and making deals with mortals. He has crossed paths with Doctor Strange multiple times, often as a manipulative antagonist. Shumagorath, an ancient and malevolent entity from another dimension, Shumagorath is a powerful foe of Doctor Strange. It seeks to spread chaos and destruction across the multiverse and has posed a significant threat to Earth on multiple occasions. Nightmare, the ruler of the dream dimension, Nightmare is a demonic entity who feeds on the fears of others. He often torments Doctor Strange and seeks to invade the waking world with his nightmarish creations. The Mindless Ones, mindless beings from another dimension, the Mindless Ones are powerful and destructive creatures that serve various dark masters. Doctor Strange has faced them in battles to prevent them from wreaking havoc on Earth. Number 7. Doctor Strange's residence is known as the Sanctum Sanctorum, which is located in New York City's Greenwich Village. The Sanctum Sanctorum serves as both Doctor Strange's home and his mystical headquarters. It appears as an ordinary townhouse from the outside, but inside, it houses vast magical energies and artifacts that aid Doctor Strange in his mystical endeavors. The Sanctum Sanctorum is protected by powerful mystical wards and spells, making it virtually impenetrable to unauthorized individuals. It serves as a sanctuary for Doctor Strange and other allies, as well as a focal point for mystical activity on Earth. Within the Sanctum Sanctorum, Doctor Strange has a vast library containing countless ancient texts and grimoires, which he uses to study and expand his knowledge of magic. The building also contains various magical relics and artifacts collected from across the multiverse, each possessing unique and potent mystical properties. Number 6. In the comics and various adaptations, Wong serves as Doctor Strange's loyal housekeeper, confidant, and sometimes even as his apprentice in the mystic arts. He hails from the mystical city of Kamartash, where he trained as a monk before becoming Strange's aide. 
His first appearance was in Strange Tales No. 110 July 1963. Wong was unnamed until Strange Tales No. 119 April 1964. Wong's duties include maintaining Dr. Strange's sanctum sanctorum, assisting him in magical endeavors, and providing support and guidance when needed. He is highly skilled in martial arts and possesses knowledge of mystical lore, making him a valuable ally to Dr. Strange in his battles against supernatural threats. Number 5. The Eye of Agamotto is a mystical artifact in the Marvel Universe associated with Dr. Strange. It's a powerful magical object that allows its wielder to see through illusions, reveal truths, and manipulate time. It's often depicted as a pendant worn around Dr. Strange's neck, and it serves as one of his primary tools in combating supernatural threats. The Eye of Agamotto draws its power from the extradimensional entity known as Agamotto, one of the Vishanti, a trinity of powerful mystical beings revered by sorcerers. <laughs> Number 4. Dr. Strange's cape, known as the Cloak of Levitation, is a significant part of his iconic appearance and has an interesting history in the comics. It's not just a piece of clothing, it's a magical artifact with its own powers. The Cloak of Levitation made its first appearance in Strange Tales No. 127 in 1964, where it was given to Dr. Strange by the Ancient One. Initially, it simply allowed him to fly, but over time, its powers expanded. In later comics, it's revealed that the cloak is a sentient being with a mind of its own. It can move independently, protect Doctor Strange from harm, and even assist him in battle. One of its primary functions is to allow Doctor Strange to fly without the need for spells or other devices. This gives him greater mobility in combat and when traveling between dimensions. The cloak provides protection from physical and mystical attacks, acting as a shield for Doctor Strange in battle. Besides flight and protection, the cloak has various other magical abilities. It can camouflage itself and Doctor Strange, render them invisible, and even manipulate its shape and size. In addition to its practical uses, the cloak is also a symbol of Doctor Strange's authority and status as the Sorcerer Supreme. It's instantly recognizable and adds to his mystique. I hope you're enjoying this video. Before we get to the top three, please could you take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel as it would be a great help. Number 3. Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme, has been a member of various teams throughout Marvel Comics history, often bringing his mystical expertise to the table. Some of the notable teams he's been a part of include The Avengers. Doctor Strange has been an occasional member of the Avengers, Earth's mightiest heroes. While not a core member, he has joined forces with them on numerous occasions to battle powerful threats. The Defenders. Doctor Strange was a founding member of the Defenders, a non-traditional superhero team that dealt with mystical and supernatural threats. He often served as a leader and key strategist for the team. The Midnight Suns. This team was specifically formed to combat supernatural threats. Doctor Strange was a central figure in this group, which also included characters like Ghost Rider, Blade, and Morbius. The Illuminati. Doctor Strange was a member of the Illuminati, a secret group of Marvel's most powerful heroes who worked behind the scenes to protect the world from major threats. Other members included Iron Man, Professor X, and Black Bolt. The New Avengers. At various points, Doctor Strange has been associated with the New Avengers, a team of heroes who operated outside of government oversight and dealt with threats that the official Avengers couldn't handle. Number 2. Doctor Strange's command over the mystical arts allows him to summon a variety of mystical creatures to aid him in battle or accomplish specific tasks. These creatures can range from minor mystical beings to powerful entities from other dimensions. Some of the creatures Doctor Strange has been known to summon include Flames of the Fall Teen. These are mystical entities composed of pure magical energy. Doctor Strange can summon and manipulate these flames for offensive or defensive purposes. Demonic Entities. Doctor Strange has been shown to summon and command various demonic entities to assist him in battle. These entities can vary widely in appearance and power, depending on the specific spell or incantation used. Mystical Guardians Doctor Strange has the ability to summon mystical guardians or protectors to aid him in defending specific locations or individuals. These guardians can take various forms, from ethereal beings to enchanted constructs. Elemental Spirits 
Doctor Strange can call upon elemental spirits associated with the classical elements, earth, air, fire, water, to manipulate the forces of nature or imbue his spells with elemental power. These are just a few examples of the mystical creatures Doctor Strange can summon using his vast knowledge of the mystic arts. Number 1. Doctor Strange is vulnerable to mystical ailments and curses due to his exposure to powerful magical forces. These diseases can manifest in various forms and may require unconventional treatments or magical remedies to cure. The use of magic can create a metaphysical hunger within Doctor Strange, as he draws upon mystical energies to cast spells. This hunger must be satiated by replenishing his magical reserves through meditation, study, or absorbing ambient mystical energy. Prolonged exposure to magic can cause physical changes in Doctor Strange's appearance, such as his hair turning black or gray and his eyes adopting a silver or slightly green hue. These alterations are symbolic of his connection to the mystical forces he wields. These side effects serve to highlight the inherent risks and costs associated with practicing magic in the Marvel Universe, especially for a character as deeply entrenched in the world of mysticism as Doctor Strange. Despite these challenges, Strange continues to harness his magical abilities to protect the world from supernatural threats and uphold the balance between the forces of light and darkness. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from the video and we'll see you on the next one.